Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the relatively rare normal flying-type Pokémon Farfetch'd, the Wild Duck Pokémon. While they might not seem like the most impressive of combatants, Farfetch'd are nonetheless interesting fowl that can definitely prove to have more fight in them than they might initially seem to have. Farfetch'd have brown feathered bodies with a lighter white belly area, yellow webbed feet, a small tuft of tail feathers, and wings that split off into a series of four articulate and feather-covered digits on each wing, allowing them to easily grasp objects. Their beak is the same color as their feet, with a tripart sprig of feathers on the top of their head, a large black V-shaped marking on their forehead, and large brown eyes that give them notably strong eyesight. They are almost never seen without a leak of some sort or other reedy plant in their grasp, and serves as their primary means of offense. Farfetch'd stand out from other bird Pokémon in that they themselves do not have much in the way of offensive strength to bear with their own bodies, as they do not have sharp beaks or claws or anything of the sort to properly defend themselves with. Instead, these creatures use weapons in order to defend themselves, and their weapon of choice always comes down to some sort of sturdy, reedy plant, with leeks being their most popular choice. These birds are very picky about what types of plants they use for combat, as there are some reedy plants that are better suited for weapon use than others, and even among those of the same plant, there are always differences between reed quality. Farfetch'd are keenly aware of this, and are not only able to tell if something will be of good use to them, but, more importantly, will often fight over good sticks in order to acquire the best one they can. When in the wings of these creatures, despite the otherwise poor quality of these tools as weapons for most, these creatures can use powerful rapid impulses to slam the reedy plants into others with the strength and cutting power of a metal sword, allowing them to cut through soft flesh and even break weak armor in some cases, and it gives them an advantage by allowing them to learn attacks like Poison Jab and Night Slash that grant them a degree of versatility that is otherwise unseen among bird Pokémon. In fact, in some cases, extremely hard leaks can be classified as stick items, and when held by a Farfetch'd, these items immensely boost the chance of them scoring a critical hit with an attack, allowing them to make up for their otherwise lackluster offensive stats. However, it is noted that it is not just battle that these plants come up in, as they are also used for a myriad array of other purposes, notably as nest-making material and as emergency food rations, as the ducks can eat their sticks if they are in desperate need of food, and can simply go looking for a new one afterwards. These birds will likewise protect plants that produce particularly strong reedy forms and will fight off anyone that dares to try and take from their personal plant, oftentimes proving to be far fiercer than their otherwise simple body form might suggest. A sort of warrior mental state exists among these creatures that blends in well with their natural biology, and in turn allows them to possess the keen eye and inner focus abilities as base abilities, while those that are particularly rambunctious and have an indomitable fighting spirit that only grows the more they are belittled by others, can have Defiant as a hidden ability. Sadly, when it comes to their stats, these creatures are among the weakest of Pokémon in a fully evolved state, as while the base attack stat is at least above average for a fully evolved normal type Pokémon, everything else about them is well below average, and they struggle to take or deal much in the way of damage, and are in turn ultimately not fit for serious combat in most cases, though they can still leave a nasty mark if given the chance in a friendly fight. Unfortunately for Farfetch'd, there is one feature of their form that has proven to be a serious problem in allowing them to live their lives peacefully and in stable numbers. They taste good. For centuries, people have been killing and eating far-fetched as a rare delicacy, as their meat is packed with flavor that is complemented immensely with the light taste of their traditional leek when cooked together, and they have been very popular as a result of their taste. However, this has led to sharp declines in the numbers in most parts of the world, and at one point, they were almost at the brink of extinction. Thankfully, conservation efforts have been made over the past few decades in order to curb their consumption, but so far the results have been mixed, as it seems that only certain parts of the world can host the species comfortably as a result of their need for reedy plants in marshes and environments like that to function. This has required a dual introduction of both bird and plant into the environments that can support them, and while the results have not always been positive, as the plants themselves are becoming increasingly scarce, efforts have swung it out of the endangered species list, though they are still fairly rare to come across even in the places where they can still thrive. This as a whole might potentially make these birds a fleeting point in the passage of time, and it is possible that things might swing against their favor in the future, but for now, these bizarre ducks still have some life in their species and will continue to make themselves a threat to anyone that dares to underestimate what they and their reedy plant of choice can do in close quarters.
They might not have many bells and whistles to them to make them into a real problem, but far-fetched are nonetheless surprisingly powerful birds that can make the plants they feed on and build their homes with into a deadly weapon of cutting and blunt force trauma. You might have to go far out of your way in order to locate one, but if you're looking to complete your Pokédex and find them all, it is still a rare bird that deserves to be searched for. Just do yourself a favor and try not to insult them or take away their leaks. They tend to be slightly aggressive as it is, and if you manage to infuriate them too much, you might find yourself in quite the pickle when they decide to give you a lashing with a mere plant that is sure to leave some scars on you if you're foolish enough to confront them without protection. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching, and I wish you well.